More and more people are taking advantage of the so-called sharing economy. Owners rent out whatever they're not using. Cars, boats, houses. Tonight, one owner who rented out his apartment became a victim after his Airbnb guests went on a crime spree. CTV's Peter Ackman has that story. Time and I just do this. Every time Matthew Lynn rents out his apartment on Airbnb, he does his best to safeguard his valuables. You put that around it? Yeah. Mostly, he just hopes renters respect his home. But after 60 good experiences, this. Dirty dishes all over the place. Uh, there was clothing all over the place. Like my bathroom, there was like, the mirror was ripped off the thing and put, it was on the ground. It was only when Lynn, a professional photographer, looked in his bedroom did he realize the renters, who had a good review online, had robbed him. $21,000 in camera equipment, a drone, expensive clothing and shoes, even his luggage. And then they filled your suitcase. I'm obviously, they filled it with my stuff. On top of that, used condoms littered the floors and his bed was soiled. In shock, he called Airbnb right away, hoping their insurance would cover his losses. She was just like, you know what, don't worry about it. You know, I'm here to help you. This is a process. Every day, half a million houses, condos and apartments are rented out using Airbnb. While there have only been a handful of nightmare situations reported, the company says the service is safe. Trust is actually on the rise in Airbnb. It's the fundamental currency of the sharing economy. And we do a lot to facilitate that trust. While there aren't any official statistics, in big North American cities, many police forces say it's becoming a problem. You're giving someone complete access to your home. There's no, there's no oversight, there's no, no one supervising that. Uh, it, you have to ask yourself, is it really worth it for the money that you're making? Despite this experience, Matthew Lynn says he plans to rent his apartment again on Airbnb, but next time he won't be leaving his key in any lockboxes. He'll be meeting renters face to face, taking their pictures and copies of their government issued IDs. And why would he risk it? And how can you pass down, like, oh, your rent being paid for and not having to dig into your savings? I mean, Enough money, he says, to cover the violation of being robbed. Peter Ackman, CTV News, Toronto.